pain. Pain can be so powerful when you just let it take over. It's like a rush to the head. It's impulsive. All driven by the act of vengeance. You hate yourself for not seeing through the damn signs, all of those warning signs. You hate him for feeding you those damn lies. And the happiness you once felt, that shit goes cold. And you become numb to all of this feeling, all of the pain, all of the happiness, all of it. You want those that wronged you to hurt like you hurt, ache like you ache, and regret everything, all the shit that they ever did. But trust me, (laughs) trust me. He going to pay for this. Jabril's Judgment Day. It's now. I don't think you'd be on Facebook all day. Why do you guys just? I left them on the desk. You last one here? Yeah. Okay. Derek, huh? Oh, now you in my house. I guess this won't be the first time neither. You can help your girl get his shit out of here. Jabril, what the hell is going on? Do you love him? What are you doing here? Answer the fucking question. Do you love him or not? Yes, I, I love Brandon. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> Rob was like about everything. You didn't even know me? Rob. Like, I'm out of here. I don't got time for Wait, this. Derek, just give me a minute. I guess. What? So you about to chase after him? Brandon, you just have to give me to, a chance to make this right. I love you. Nothing. I want to if be you with you. If you chase after him, don't come back here ever again. You know I what? Just, have to make just, this go. Right. just no. go. Just go. Just go. I'll be back. This is not done between us. Whatever. I don't care. Don't come back. All your shit will be outside. Hey, babe. I figure you're still doing work. All right, so I didn't tell you what happened with Garrett and Jabril. And I hit you up earlier. You never texted me about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting my husband, Clint? I sent him away on a weekend business trip because I wanted to meet you. How you doing? I'm Ashton. I'm actually here to see Clint, though. And I'm here to see you. Okay. Well, what do you want? Well, let me properly introduce myself. My name is Fallon. Mm-hmm. I'm Clint's wife. Well, wait a minute. You already know who I am, don't you? Okay, look. I'm here to see Clint. Not you. And I'm here to get some answers. Some answers? Wait, what are you talking about? Aren't you the man that's fucking my husband? Okay, whatever issues you have going on, it has nothing to do with me. Matter of fact, I don't got time for this. Oh, no, no, no. You will wait. And you will talk to me. Because you are the person who's responsible for turning my husband into a faggot. <laughs> Let me let you know one thing. Your husband was gay, was gay way before he met me. Way before. Really? Well, I would certainly hope he would have better taste than you. All right. I was trying to be nice. But I don't think you about to sit here and feel fab on my time. <laughs> I know all about you, too. You do? Do tell. Well, for starters, I know you're strong on divorce papers. Hoping that Clint would take you back. Is that what my queer of a husband told you? (laughs) See, Clint isn't going anywhere. He loves the money and everything that it affords us. All right. Well, if you think I'm lying, let's call Clint now. Let's get this out of the story. Clint and I still live together. That house that we live in, I bought that. The car that he drives, <laughs> I pay for that too. You see, my family and my money is what he loves. He's never leaving. So I don't have to ask him for shit. Thank you. Uh, well, if you think I'm gonna stop messing with him, you're wrong. Well, who's feeling fab now? I could have your ass thrown in jail right now. Arrested for what? Fucking my man? I, I mean, fucking your husband? Come on, man, the cops gonna laugh you right in your face. <laughs> See, 
So you got the right one oh, really? on the wrong day. And a whole lot of nerve for someone who's been stealing my money. Your money. Yes, my money. That check that Clint wrote you for their little treasure trove you call a clothing line, that came out of my account. My account. Hold on, wait, are you trying to call me a thief? I mean, Clint gave me that money. I didn't ask where it came from. Of course not. Because the needy never asked the source. All right. What do you want from me now? Simple. My share of your company. OK, wait, hold on. You trying it now. I said you trying it. Really? That's my company. I worked my ass off to get that company off the ground. Now I'm not about to let you or anyone take it away from me. We got that trait? I don't see it that way. Well, how do you see it? Well, for starters, since my money has started Banks Clothing, that would make me owner. You and Clint used my money to start your little business up, correct? I mean, I didn't know that was your money. I mean, how can you prove our new shit? Easy. It would be my word against yours. And who do you think they believe? What? Bitch, you crazy. I mean, I'm not going to jail. What you fail to realize is what you did was considered embezzlement as well. Well, if you don't want to go to jail, then my husband has to. Wait, what are you talking about? I want to send my husband to jail. You're going to help me. And what makes you think I'm going to help you? <laughs> like I said, you can either sit in jail for 10 years, or you can help me frame my husband for tax fraud. Like I told you before, I'm not doing shit. I mean, at this point, I love Clint. <laughs> I figured you need a little more convincing. So I had my assistant make copies of these for you. What the fuck is that? Open it up and find out. These are my fucking bank statements! I mean, I'm not the one that has access to my business accounts. Look closely. There are also copies of the check that Clint wrote you, your pay stubs, and every invoice. And they're all coming back to me. What are you showing me all this for? <laughs> That's my insurance policy. Just in case you want to try me. Well, how do I know you won't frame me, too? Look, you have approximately 24 hours. If you don't contact me by tomorrow, everything that you saw in that folder will be going to the authorities. Hello, front desk. Please send security up to escort my friend, Mr. <laughs> Banks, from my husband's office. Thank you. Look, bitch, I don't need a motherfucking escort. <laughs> sure you don't. You know what? I know the way out of my man's office. Really? Fuck that, baby. Faggot. What's up? Oh, cut the bullshit. What happened? Where's the grill? He chose to stay with Brandon. What happened? Did you hear what I said? He chose to stay with Brandon, not me. He's staying with Brandon. No. We might be getting back together. Listen, Brandon's not taking him back. Oh, I'm sure about that. Because from the way things were going, Jabril was talking as if they were getting back together. What's up? It's me. What? What do you 
you mean? How you gonna put all this out on me? Brandon. Listen, Brandon, calm down. Brandon. I told you. So what happened after I left? I told you what happened. He chose to stay with Brandon. It don't mean nothing. So Brad practically walked in on me and Brandon having sex. You know what's really not starting to make sense? You and these damn games you play. First of all, stop calling me shorty, because I ain't nobody shorty. But after all of this, it seems like all you've been doing is looking out for yourself. What's that supposed to mean? I'm really starting to see you for the real man that you are, and you've been playing games this whole time. Shorty, Derek, calm down. It's not even like that. I'm not trying to use you. Oh, you're not trying to use me? Then tell me what you were doing, because you've only been looking out for yourself. Listen, calm down. <laughs> Why would I do that? Isn't this is what you like? Somebody all up in your face? Derek, Derek, calm down. Calm down. Derek, calm down. Listen, huh? Is this what you want? Huh? A fight? Huh? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. It's a prayer for everybody. So this is the real you, huh? Huh? Let me go. Where you going? What's your problem? You, bro. I'm tired of you. I hate you. Yes, I do. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Isn't this what you wanted?
everybody, I'm Christina Porter, and I play the role of Fallon Davenport in the upcoming web series, Triangle. Now, how would you describe the role of Fallon? Fallon is a very wealthy, powerful young lady who actually married a gay man, and she's very upset and out for vengeance because she found out that he was gay. Now, with Fallon being such a strong character, do you see any similarities with yourself and her? Very much so. Because I am bisexual, that wouldn't have come as a surprise to me because I think, personally, all men mess around, but we're going, we're going too far. We're going no, I like it. It was honest. It was honest. I do. The only thing nobody going to find out, they mess around. Okay. But, you know. Hi, this is Ryan Cross, and I am playing the role of Ashton Banks on the upcoming web series, uh, Triangle. How would you describe Ashton for the viewers? Ashton is a character who, um, he's actually an upcoming designer, and when he actually comes into the web series, he is basically the friend of somebody already involved in the Triangle. So he kind of plays that support um, to his best friend, basically. Um, but as you get to later on in the series, he kind of gets himself intertwined in his own triangle. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty juicy actually. Have you yourself ever been involved in a love triangle? Of course. I mean, I feel like we all have in, in some kind of sense. You know, you, you know, you, you go through that thing of loving somebody who is in love with somebody else or you're the person who's with somebody who you want to be with somebody else. So I feel like we all kind of go through that in a sense, especially when we're young. What are the similarities between Ryan and your character? Um, we're both into fashion. And we're both into fashion and we both are emotional. Um, in the series you'll see parts where he's really mad or he's really um, sad or angry so his emotions are kind of very vivid and I feel like in a sense I'm the same way. What are the differences of Ryan in your character? Um, oof. I want to say I've never been in a situation where I was dating somebody that was married. I mean not to say that I never, nobody was ever married that I've been talking to, but it never gets to the point where I found that out. So I don't think I've ever been that deep into that kind of commotion. And acting, where do you derive your emotion from? Um, what I do is, acting, is, let me say this first, acting is a very, a very big process like some people don't even realize what you have to do to act it's a really emotional process so I think in a sense I kind of take myself out of the character take my own stuff out of it and basically kind of see things through the character's eyes so that way I'm not really acting on how I will feel about the situation but how the character actually will feel about the situation so it kind of makes me separate the two and kind of really you know bring the character to life Hey, what's up guys? This is Carlos and we are here at the Lexus dealership. We have a fashion show going on. Um, they're the guys from Triangle. They're in the uh, Lexus sponsored fashion show tonight. Fashion night out. Um, let's walk around why, and why, introduce everybody. Like a math Tank thing? first. I'm Tank. Everybody know me as Rob. I'm trying to web series. <laughs> and we got over oh, here Dom oh, Dominique Smith. Where did I put that whole segment? <laughs> So, birthday in a couple days. Birthday. Turn 21 on again. <laughs> on a Tuesday. We just hit the Lexus IS. I'm seeing doing the fitting. Let them see. Let's see. Let's see what kind of stuff they have laid out. This is from a store called Denim Project. A lot of denim. Graphic tees. A lot of denim. And corduroy. <laughs> and we over there. That's Pete. So, Damo, so far, you're not doing an in depth interview. So, how far, how you been feeling for about Triangle so far? It's been real good. It's been it's been good. Great, great feedback. I'm just negative or positive. I, I appreciate it all. 
Um, I'm just excited for just uh, to share my talent, you know, and, and for people to <laughs> see where it goes next. So. Yeah, man. I'm excited. So I hope all of you guys are excited like I am. And uh, we're going to keep you entertained. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep you entertained. You're going to take my scarf. <laughs> I'll talk to the people, Carlos. Okay. And shoes to be in the What's up? What's up? And what are you wearing? All black. Black boots or brown I have no idea, bro. You have no idea what you're wearing? You're in a fashion show? I think so too. I just didn't know people. I like it. So how, how's it been directing this Triangle series? So far, it's been great. I love working with everybody's energy. For the most part? Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I think it's been going good. And, you know, I just hope for a little more. I'm just going to have a little you know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing but up for me. I agree. Season two, season three. I should just bring the whole story. Everything. Oh, Emory. <laughs> I'm like, I got you. I know. Sorry. Hold on. Emory's. Let me do a quick pan and I'll come back. As you see, uh, Caesar on the floor, handle the business as usual. Take one of that mouth. Come back. Emory, what's up? How are you? I want to see everyone. <laughs> Are you having a good time today? I'm always having a good time. It's always a pleasure to be with the cast. Um, I know you're all tired of seeing me. No, I'm no, not. No, uh, this is like my third interview. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I have a lot of fun doing what we do here. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. I know your balls hot. Yes. Cool. Selfie. Doll selfie. Rock. What the fuck are you doing here? Isn't this what you wanted? Stop back. Stop <laughs> Three, two, one. Now, arrested for what? Fucking my man? Wait, I mean, fucking your husband? See? Come on now, the cops gonna laugh you right in your face. You got the right one on the wrong damn day. <laughs> right. See, what you and Clint was doing was stealing my money. All of my money. Where your money? I mean, for that was too long. That was too long. I was stuck too. Hold up. Hold up. I have to look at it like this. No money. What's you? 